In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we'd like to show you how to add new fonts that will be available to you when you're doing titles in Power Director. You don't actually add them in Power Director, you add them in the Windows operating system. And so let me show you how to do that. So this will apply to fonts that are available in any application that you use in Windows. It's not a difficult process, but it takes a little bit of thought. So what I do first of all is I buy or get a free uh, font and I stick it in a file folder somewhere in my system. And that's what you see on the screen. I have this subdirectory called fonts and I have this font that I downloaded. Uh, now this one happens to be a file folder with a zipper on it. That means it's a compressed file that contains normally more than one item. And sometimes fonts will come packaged with two or three variations of the same font. In order to use it, I have to take it out of this zip file. The easy way to do that, all you need to do is click on it, and then it will say Compressed Folder. And if I double click on it, it will show me what's inside it. And this is the contents of what's inside that zip folder. The easiest way to take all of this stuff and put it somewhere else is simply click on Extract All. And then when you do that, it will, it will recommend it wants to put this in a subfolder of the folder that the zip file is in, and it suggests a name. I'm going to accept that for now, and then click Extract. And now I have a new window that popped up, and this window is under the Fonts folder, and then it has this new subdirectory, and then it has everything that that zip file contained. It's unzipped, as it were. You notice here I have a picture, I have some text document about it, and I also have a file that says True Type Font. This is the only one I really need to worry about right now. So what I'm going to do is take this folder and move it to the side. And then I'll close this other window. Now I need to open my Font folder in Windows 10. The quickest way to do that is go through the Control Panel so I'll click down here in the lower left and I'll start typing the word control panel and all I have to do is type a couple, couple of characters and this will say oh you want to run the control panel and I'll click on it of course I do now the control panel has several different views you can use small icons large icons or category for many of us it's, it defaults to the category view which is these eight items if this is what you see and you want something different and I do in this case, just click on either large icon or small icon. It doesn't matter. I'll use large icon. And somewhere in the icon level here, they're alphabetical, we have a folder called fonts. So I'll click on that and it will open up all the fonts that are currently installed in my copy of Windows version 10. I'm going to drag the other window back here. And here's my true type uh, file here. All I need to do is highlight it click on it with the left mouse button, drag and drop it, and let it go, and it will install that font in Windows. Now I'm into Power Director, so let's assume I want to add a font, uh, a title, and I want to use my new font. All I need to do is go to my title room on the left side. I'll drag down my My Title to track number two here, and then when I go into my Title Editor, I can double click or press the F2 key. It will give me an option for fonts. And if I look through the list here very carefully, I'll try to get it so it's on the screen and you can see it. Here is the one that I just loaded, my brand new font. So I'll double click on that. And now this is the font that I can use in my titles. I can also use it in Excel, in Word, and uh, PowerPoint and any other application that accesses the font library in Windows version 10. So that's as simple as it is to add a font that you can use in CyberLink PowerDirector.